guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new here. So it's time for a new M Weekly vlog. It is Wednesday evening. No, it's not. It's Thursday evening. I'm still in that Christmas mode where I literally do not know what day of the week it is. So I look like this because I just washed my hair, dried it, and I applied fake tan a few hours ago. I'm in my pajamas because it's freezing in my house. The bifold doors look great, but honestly, it's very cold. So this week's weekly vlog is going to be a very good one she says. So I have decided that I want to talk a bit more in depth about the workouts that I do every single week. It changes every week depending on my mood and depending on my schedule, but I thought I will show you like my next kind of six, five to six days of workouts. There's going to be some workouts embedded in, the ones that I can film. And then this weekend is a really exciting one because Matt is taking me away for my birthday present. Oh my gosh, and he's planned the most amazing itinerary, so I'll tell you about that this weekend. So for now, I have just eaten a whole tub of granola, if you are wondering. Um, you're basically just gonna come along for the next five, six days with me, as you usually do in a vlog. I am gonna go take my washing out, like the domesticated goddess that I am, and then I'm doing a very exciting challenge with, wait for it, dun dun dun, can't even tell you the brand name because I don't even know, an exciting moisturizer. So I'm gonna go and take the washing out, organize all of that, then I'm gonna jump in the shower, wash this tan off because it's been on for five hours now. And then I'm gonna try all the moisturizers and I'll talk to you about it then. So let's go get organized. Let's go. Let's go. Chris's engine circuit is a 45 minute class and there are 13 stations. You do 30 seconds per exercise on the circuit and then you repeat three times around. It's brutal, you get 15 seconds rest in between. But it just makes me feel so exhausted and I love that. I feel so sweaty afterwards. So, I have got two moisturizers. I have no idea which brands are from. Dun, da, da, A and B, that's it. This is what I've been given. And basically, I have been asked to document the journey as I trial and test these two unknown body moisturizers. And each day I'm gonna kind of comment on it and try it on different parts of my body and just see, I guess, which one I think is the best at the end of the week. Works out perfectly because every time I do a workout, I jump in the shower afterwards and moisturize my body. So I'm very excited to document this and trial and test them. I'm actually really passionate about this because as you guys know, I'm massively into my skincare. So when I got an email being like, do you want to trial some moisturizers and you're not going to know anything about them? I was like, um, yes, it's like a blind taste test, but with moisturizers. So it's been about four hours now. I'm going to go and wash my tan off and then obviously moisturize. So I usually leave my fake tan on overnight, but today I did not. I decided to put one on that's kind of like very dark in colour. It doesn't look that dark on my skin. It's quite natural now. It's washed off, but the colour guide's very dark. And I didn't want to ruin my new bed sheets. I just put on hashtag domesticated goddess. So I thought I'd leave it on for five hours and try that instead rather than sleeping overnight with it. So every time I fake tan, I moisturise as soon as I've washed it off. It's the best way to kind of keep the tan prepped. And I'm going to tan... I tanned earlier and then I'm gonna to tan tomorrow as well so that it's like double, if that makes sense. So, perfect excuse to try these moisturizers. Okay, so A, let's go with A first. Oh, so A smells, I don't know. It smells like holiday, but not like perfumed holiday. It smells like a good kind of, I don't know, like you'd get this from a pharmacy, maybe a French pharmacy. Let's test, oh gosh, I thought my phone was gonna fall off. Let's check B. Okay, so this one, I would say smells very similar actually. Neither of them have like a crazy smell in color. No, oh, they pretty much both look the same. Right, let's try it on my skin. I'm gonna try it on my chest. My chest tends to be the driest area of my body. Oh my God, it smells like holidays. It smells like it's good for me. So let's try this. Okay, so this one, A, goes on. It's quite a thick texture, but I feel as if it's completely sinking into my skin. Like my skin is just drinking that up. Nice, thick, it's not creamy. It's kind of like a, can you see this? A nice, thick texture. Oh, that's lovely. I could definitely get on board with using that every day. And now B, in comparison, I'm gonna do this one on my shoulder. Oh, okay, so this one, 
when you put it on your finger feels lighter but on my body it definitely sinks in to be honest a took a bit longer to rub in and sink in and feels a bit thicker on my skin b i would say feels a little bit thinner but still gives me the same moisturizing effect to be honest this and this both feel amazing but i guess it's how my skin feels in the morning as well so i will continue the test Again. Good morning guys. I'm just heading to a gifted co-box class, which is a boxing class today. I've been trying to get more boxing in because, oh my gosh, it is so exhausting. So I'm heading to that class this morning and then I have a day full of meetings. Let's go to the co-box first. Oh, I'm also going to walk to my meetings after co-box because then getting extra steps in. Robot's class done. I didn't film it because I don't like filming in classes and there's loads of people there. I feel a bit rude. Lots of burpees, lots of touch jumps, lots of punching. Literally such a good class. I'm exhausted. And now I am just walking to my meeting. So I'm doing a nice 40 minute walk over to Selfridges. I've got a press appoint, a gifted press appointment to get my nails done at Nails Inc. And then I have a gifted press appointment to get my hair done Keras test um, for my exciting weekend. So I've got two meetings and then two pamper appointments, which will be nice. But I was just listening to a podcast saying that one of the most important things this personal trainer does is tell people to up their steps more. He said if they're plateauing at the gym, he doesn't cut the calories and he doesn't take some add in an extra session, he says get your steps in. And I use a health app, so I just thought I would tell you whilst I am walking to my workout, to my workout, to my meeting. Workout done and now I'm walking on top of it, you know, it's all good movement. have a little hour gap between getting my nails done at Nails Inc. in Selfridges, just had a lovely lunch, so I'm just in Topshop trying some stuff on. So I may as well show you some of the things that I try on. Time to change these, which have been on since my birthday, actually. So. so I'm home, and my house is so clean right now. Fantastic services came round, did me a little gifted clean of the house. Um, they said that you can use code M Shell X if you want discount on a clean, because so many people have asked me. So if you fancy that go for it. I am currently full on chicken nuggets, which I'll show you in a minute, a long story about that. Got my hair done at Daniel Galvin, I had the Kerastest Fuso treatment, which was a press gifted appointment, but unfortunately I had to walk home in the wind, so I've kind of ruined my hair already, which is annoying, but I got home to a tidy house, which I'm very grateful for, and a McDonald's delivery. McDonald's emailed me, and they were like, oh, we've seen your tweet that you want nuggets, can we send you some? And I was like, Guys, I'll just go buy some, you really don't have to do that. And they sent me them. I'm shook, Matt's not home, so I've already eaten over half of the sharing box. But they're the new spicy ones, and they were kindly gifted to me by them. I mean, I need to put this bag away because I've literally pretty much eaten all of Matt's fries and pretty much all of the nuggets. So I'm going to go and moisturize and take my makeup off and get myself organized for sleep because I have an exciting day tomorrow. Oh hello, it's me again. So, uh, I am going to try the moisturiser on my legs right now. I am going to see the difference. My skin today felt great on the bits that I applied it. I applied it onto my kind of decolletage area and honestly it felt great. I wouldn't say that one side felt better than the other. My skin just felt good and I woke up feeling nice and hydrated. In winter my skin gets super dry, I'm sure you guys can relate. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit on my legs now and see how we get on. See if there's any difference on different parts of the skin. So A, 
Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. It smells so good. We go. This bit of my legs are always super dry. Okay, so A, it's thick. It's going in, but it needs quite a bit of blending. Not saying that's a bad thing. Good things take time. And it is instantly smooth. Instantly smooth. Okay, I'm gonna compare to B, and then I'm gonna do both my legs. Comment below which part of your body is the kind of bit that gets the driest. Mine's definitely de decolletage, like chest bit, this bit, and obviously my face. Oh, see, this one looks different now. Now I've had a second look. Now I've walked away and come back a day after. I think B looks different. I'm gonna do this test on Matt tomorrow. B is definitely of a thinner consistency. It looks thick, but this one is like way thicker. A is way thicker, okay. Oh, B, let's put it on. So this goes in a lot easier into the skin. And it just feels amazing. This goes actually a lot further as well. I'd say the other one smells more holiday-like, A. Eh? Oh, I've got a massive bruise here. God, that goes really far. That feels incredible. I'm gonna do the test on Matt tomorrow. I'm gonna take my makeup off now, put a face mask on and get into bed after my nuggets. God, I smell so good. Um, I'm gonna pack these in my bag. Tomorrow morning I have a Cobox class and then straight after Cobox I am ooh, getting ready to go to the Cotswolds for my birthday adventure that Matt has organized for me with my very special itinerary. Could not be more excited. So I'm gonna try and get an early night because I have a very early Cobox class. Good night. Guys, it is Saturday. I did a coat box class this morning and now we have just arrived at Vista Village in Oxford. I'm so excited. I've worked with them before in the past, but this is just oh, us organically coming to do some shopping. So I'm very excited. We've not been for a year. So I'm coming to spend some birthday slash Christmas money, hopefully. And first stop is obviously some lunch. So I'm going to do a whole separate vlog about my trip to Vista because I know you guys like coming along with me. So I'll show you a bit of stuff on this vlog, but then I will also upload a separate vlog, which is like shopping at Vista with me. Gone for a little mattress smoothie. Matt's gone for peanut butter. We got some little snacks. We were gonna eat and look at the queue. Wow, wow. Then Matt has gone for ginger chili beef. Oh my gosh. And then my portion came. Look at the size of my portion compared to Matt's. Incredible. Oh my gosh, and some seasonal greens, which I definitely didn't need. Matt's opinion is, as much as I like it as a tote, it's just not durable enough and I can't just stick 20 kilograms in it. <laughs> I might have to come back tomorrow if I change my mind and decide that I miss it too much. I love it, it's so nice. It looks such good quality. It's more thermals. Fair. They did not used to have this store last time. Really good to know that they've got them reduced. So it will be about 90 for the set. Very good. Little suede jacket. They don't really have many sizes, so this is a bit too big for me. I have seen a lot of people with this one. the weekly vlog so we have had the loveliest day at Bista Village we just sat in a part of Bista Village called the apartment now sipping some tea eating some chocolates oh so good had the loveliest day lunching shopping got myself some new amazing Stuart Wiseman boots some treats from YSL so I will show you that on my Bista Village vlog um but this apartment is just absolutely stunning I love it so much in here. It's been a very cold day. So for my birthday, Matt made me an itinerary. And my birthday was in December, but he made me an itinerary and said in January, this is what we're doing. So he brought me to Pista Village first, which is one of my favorite places ever on the way to the Cotswolds. And then we are staying at this gorgeous hotel tonight. And we are having dinner, wait for it, at a restaurant that Will and Kate have been to and love. And they mm, share the sea cream there. Not just been to, 
one of Kate's favourites. One of Kate's favourites. I read online that they shared the sea bream. Yeah. I won't be having sea bream. And that made this amazing itinerary that's basically all things that I love to do. So I'm not going to tell you what we're doing tomorrow yet because you can find out tomorrow. But it's so special because Bista is like my happy place for shopping and we've not been for ages. And he was like, we're going to Bista on the way and then we're staying in a hotel room. And he's perfectly organised the hotel room so it has a roll top bath for me and a four poster bed. You are... I've done good. He's I've done good. The boy did good. So he's just calling the car at the valet now at Bista. But we've literally had the best day. I love Bista so much. This apartment is just divine. I'm full. I'm happy. We had the loveliest lunch. We had a um, Chinese for lunch, which was amazing. There was a long line, but it was worth it. We've done some shopping. So I'm very happy. So now let's jump in the car and drive about 40 minutes to our gorgeous little hotel. I can't wait to see where he's booked. We just checked into the hotel and it is the cutest little kind of, I think it's family run or independently run like B&B &B, and it is so cute. There was the fluffiest dog downstairs, which I obviously fell in love with and Matt, bless him, knows I love a four poster bed and wait until you see this bathroom. It's so cute. Look at this. It's so gorgeous. It's also a dog friendly hotel, which makes me love it even more. It's almost as if he knew I love dogs. Guys, look at this bathroom. <gasps> How insane. So, I'm wearing this coat because I don't think I've shown you it today. But I'm so happy. Perfect place. Ready for dinner. So, we're just going to drive 15 minutes and head there. So, I'm wearing this. I've also got my new boots on, which you can't see, but I love them. Going for a cauliflower soup. Matt has gone for a little salmon fish cake. So we are back from dinner now. It was literally the most insane restaurant ever. And Matt has fallen asleep, so won't be helping me with the moisturizers tonight. So I'm gonna get him to do the test in the morning. My skin right now on my face is literally feeling the worst it's ever been hormonal and not great hormonal breakouts we all have them no point trying to hide it because it's just normal um so i thought it was a perfect excuse to try the moisturizers and do the little test on my face actually a is gonna be insane yeah a is one that i think is thicker for dry skin so what i'm gonna do is sleep with a on the dry parts of my skin tonight and then tomorrow night or maybe the night after i'll decide i'm gonna sleep with b or should i do one side and one side now i'm gonna do a tonight like this part of my skin is so dry look how thick this goes on oh my god it's amazing so this is a so luxurious and i'm gonna get matt to do the test in the morning as if you could double it up as a luxury overnight balm and i feel like it's actually so nice on my skin look at this dry patch oh my god guys we went for breakfast and behind me matt is trying to organize this bath because we cannot get the plug to go down like we can't get it to go down it's just full we've had an epic fail because it's full of cold water it's like an ice bath look at my new pajamas also how good was dinner last night matt oh so good my family are coming back to the cotswolds in may and the place that we're staying in the cotswolds is 17 minutes from there in the car so we are going because that was just you did good I was so full though, the portions are massive. So Matt was in a massive food coma and fell asleep, so I put the cream, A, on my face, and I have literally made a crater on my face because I've been picking up my face, I shouldn't do it. And Matt was like, oh, we need to book a table for three. <laughs> um, so I put cream A on my face last night because I thought, oh, it's a really intense one. So A, it's good for me. So Matt, you're going to be my little it's test bunny. Okay. I want you to look at A and B, and I want, I need your second opinion. Basically, I've been given these creams, from a brand but I do not know what the name of the brand is I literally don't know anything about them one of them is from one brand one of them is from another what do you think of it what do you think of the texture it's quite nice like green what does it feel like and maybe do it on your hand you can do it on your hand on or your face. face on your face yeah and I think the idea is going to be I'm going to find out on I think Monday or Tuesday like a big reveal and find out which brands they are it's quite a 
thick cream. That's thick. That's the one that I put on my spot last night as like an overnight balm. I think that one's going to be really good for dry skin. Yeah, do you think? Nice, yeah, yeah, do the other one on your other cheek. And then tell me how you think this one feels in comparison. B. Uh, it's softer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to... Yeah, it's a little bit thinner, I think. Okay, I said the exact same. I didn't want to um, yeah, yeah, entice your decision. They both feel pretty nice, though. Yeah, I said the same. I think A is thicker. And it feels very yeah. luxurious and thick. Like, you could leave it as an overnight cream. I feel like it would be a really good moisturising well, moisturiser. Well, now tomorrow I'll be able to see which side of my face is better. Okay, <laughs> you're going to have to tell us. So, I just want you to quickly check the smell as well, sorry. Because I need to know your opinion on the smell. Smells quite nice, just like most moisturizer. Yeah. Both exactly the same, to be honest. Like I can tell you. Because I think the smell, to me, is like quite a natural moisturizer smell. It doesn't smell perfume, but it almost yeah, yeah, feels as if it's perfume because I'm so know used to it. Many mo um, moisturizers that I use to be perfume, though, but. But yeah, so. I think it both feels nice. So, which one do you prefer, say. or do you just think they're both. Probably. A at the minute because it feels a bit thicker, so I feel it's like it's a little bit, bit better. It's going to do something. Yeah, well, I literally put it on this creature in my face overnight, so. It's a good test, isn't it? Well, thanks for testing it. There we go, guys. That's Matt's opinion. So we're just checking out of our gorgeous room now. Look at that light. We have a sunny day. Also, oh, my boots. I love them. <gasps> Matt, the dog's back. The doodle dog's back. We've been, we've basically just seen the most amazing dogs. Um, Yeah. I just love it look at this room and dinner was spectacular i feel just so happy it was just amazing if it's good enough for will and kate so yeah i'm definitely bringing my family when we come back to the cotswolds can't stop looking at cute dogs oh my god it's looking at me and now we are going for a little walk around this area it's called burford is it called Guys, we stayed here last time we came to the Cotswolds. It is so lovely. So we have just had a lovely little walk around an area called Burford and now we are just driving through Kingham. We actually stayed here last time and it is the cutest little village and the next part of my birthday tree. Where are you taking me? Your favourite place, Dalesford. <laughs> Guys, if you've been following for a while, you'll know, wild, wild, you'll know I go to Dalesford a lot. It is just stunning. It's the most amazing, like, organic cafe, deli, restaurant, farm shop, and the original homeware shop. Homeware it's quite shop. Odd, to be honest. Clothes, the original, yeah. is here in Dalesford slash King. Also, a hotel as well. Yes, yeah. I've done yoga there. Um, yeah, so this is the original one. And we love it. And I brought my mom last year. Oh my god, I don't know. She loved it. So Matt's bringing me back for my lunch today. And they have a few of them in London, Dr. Duran, like smaller ones. But this is like the mammoth one. So I'm very excited. It's like a whole day experience of just being a country bumpkin. And I'm here for it. Dalesford have now started a zero waste pantry and look you can get everything oh zero waste in your little containers they've even got refillable detergents here now back home now after the most amazing surprise birthday weekend oh my gosh we met the most amazing dog it was a Burmese mountain dog and with a little puppy and I didn't film it because I didn't want to just go and shove a camera into the people's faces <gasps> but they let us cuddle the dogs and it was just one of the best moments ever Dalesford is one of my favorite places it's like an organic farm shop they do the most amazing food everything it was just fantastic so literally the best day really sad to be back in London next time we're doing two nights I will add a night on um just so grateful that Matt organized that for me it was just amazing I never wanted to come home super happy and now we are gonna 
get organized for the week ahead morning so sad to be back from the Cotswolds but I have a busy day ahead so I've just done an F45 class with my friend which was very very good very sweaty it was a nice cardio class I sometimes add them into my workouts just to like start the week, do something a bit different, so that was done. My skin's feeling a lot better today. Last night before bed, I put B on this horrible dry patch, and it's getting better. I do think B feels a tiny bit thinner, but not in a bad way. It sinks in a lot quicker. Um, the other one, A, just feels like super kind of, I would say like super thick and hydrating, more of like an overnight balm. So that's my update on the little moisturizer. That's my update on the workout. Now I'm going to do a working lunch with my friend. We're gonna go and sit and have a nice lunch. Feeling very excited and hungry after that workout. I've just showered and everything. And then I'm going to the opera later, so I'm very excited. With the moisturizers, I find out the final reveal today, so I hope I can finally find out which brand is which after lunch as well, so hopefully talk you through that. So I need to go and do some work, go and eat, then come back, get ready for an opera, which is very exciting. I'm doing some work with the Royal Opera House. This vlog is not sponsored by them, but they are sending me on like a gifted masterclass and stuff, so I'm very excited to go to that. So. I am gonna go and have some lunch. Poppy, this is my lunch date for the day. I'm so gorgeous. And this one as well. We are having a working lunch. Guys, I've gone for the weirdest mix. I've got chicken bites, they're vegan, and they're like the best things ever. With kale, wait for it. Cheesy chicken bites. This is a raw bowl, and then I've got pancakes coming as well, because you know, why not just get everything? Yes, guys, the pancakes are here. I think I'm actually gonna do my savory stuff first. Oh hello guys, I don't think I've ever done this much filming in my bathroom ever, but we are here today. So I had the loveliest lunch and now it is time for the big reveal. I hope you guys have been thinking, oh I wonder what that moisturiser is. So if you think, wow you look a bit sweaty, it's because I've just been helping my friend film some workouts. But here we are, and then I need to go and get ready for the opera. So I have just got through my big reveal and I have found out that pot A is creme de la main and pot b is astral astral is a brand that i've never used but i have heard so 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 much about it so i'm actually really excited that i've been using it and it's been really cool to trial a really affordable product astral is a 500 ml is about 8.99 and a medium sized is about 4.49 so it's been really cool to trial an affordable product versus an expensive product. I personally think there are some incredible expensive products that I adore and then there are some things that I go to for affordable things so it's great to see that they both do a good job. For me I would say that the creme de la mer was my favourite for a really opulent pamper. Obviously I didn't know it was creme de la mer whereas the B for me was more of a this does the job but it does the job quickly. It gives me 24 hours of hydration but I can literally go to the gym, quickly put it all over my body, it sinks in quickly and then I can get up and go to my meetings. Whereas something like creme de la mer, which is about 63 pounds a pot, would be more like, okay, I'm gonna use this on a Sunday night after a lovely bath as like a really luxurious pamper. So there's definitely room for both of them in my, in my life, but B Astral is one that you'd more like stock up on. All the family would use and it would be like a fail safe hero product. So I've never used Astral before, but I have seen people on YouTube rave about it. Everyone talks about how much it keeps their skin hydrated, how you can use it all over the body, how it's kind to the skin, and people are obsessed with that. I watched a video with a girl talking about the fact that she uses it all over her body and her face, and she was saying that it was her grandma that got her involved with it and like fallen in love with it. And when it's on offer, I'll leave a link below to the Superdrug site. She said she always buys it in bulk, so I'd always been intrigued to use it. I had no idea until the big reveal, but, because I've only ever seen people talk about using it on kind of your dry skin and stuff, it's actually a multi-purpose product and we love something that's multi-purpose. Had no idea, but you can use it to take off your makeup. Why did I not know this over the weekend? You can use it as an overnight hair mask or just a normal hair mask, an overnight skin mask so you can really like make it thicker. You can even use it for fake tan mishaps, I'm definitely gonna try all that. You can use it as sheen on your legs, a highlighter. There are loads of benefits for it, which I think is very cool. And I mean, you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck there with it. So basically, yeah, that is the big reveal. It's versatile, it's affordable, and the La Mer is just luxurious, opulent, and incredible. And I think there is space for both of them in my life. I need to get ready for the opera, organize myself, get my hair ready, let's go. So, I'm ready. I'm not gonna jump in a cab. I've been so good at not getting cabs throughout the whole of January, but I have to get a cab over to Comic Garden today, and I am going to head over. When everything is white, Hello guys, happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday, but it feels like Friday, and I have no idea why, so 
I got my delivery of Astral through, so I have a whole big pot for me to use now. Intensive face and body moisturizer. I'm so excited. And I'm gonna give it a proper trial and then get back to you guys. I love that it has so many uses. Hair mask, I'm definitely gonna do that. I'm actually gonna do that now because I've just been to a Cobox class, hence me looking like this. And I need to shower and sort myself out, so I'm gonna pop a hair mask on. What was the last thing I showed you? We went to the opera, which was insane. As I said, it was a gifted press event. Oh my God, it was literally insane so beautiful and then today i have just been doing loads of work so i'm gonna leave this vlog here because it's very very long but i really hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed coming to bista with me there will be a full video all about bista village very very soon um i'm gonna say next week on my channel so keep an eye out if you made it this far thank you come say hi on instagram and twitter at mshellx and everything mentioned on the video will be linked below as always big love guys <laughs>